Hey guys, and welcome back to another Factorio tutorial. And you may be wondering, uh, what the hell am I talking about? Because Factorio isn't running. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're right. And this is actually going to be a pretty short, simple video. Uh, it was actually something that was requested by someone who commented in my last tutorial video. And I thought it was a good idea to do, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one here really quick, and then we will continue on with you know, kind of the game-oriented stuff. So this one is going to be for how to install mods. It's actually pretty straightforward, um, usually. But, uh, but I think I should show it anyway, just because there's probably some people who don't know. And, uh, and yeah, let's get right to it. Try to ignore my extremely cluttered, uh, desktop here. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so... We've downloaded some mods. Uh, let's just say, uh, so we've downloaded Farl, the uh, automatic rail layer, and Core Ditech, for example. And, I mean, downloading the mods, I'm not going to go over that because it's, like, really pretty simple. You find whatever mod you're looking for, and then usually the person will have it organized, like a post specifically for downloading it, or they'll have a link in the main post or whatever. It's pretty easy to find, and I would say... 90-95% of the time it's going to be a zip file, which is good because that's that's the format you want to leave it in. Uh, Factorio a while ago did an update to allow it to read zip files as mods so you don't have to unpack them. Now, you don't want to be careful though because some people may have it in like a .rar file or something. And to my knowledge, that will not work. So you'll either need to convert it to a zip file or request that they put it into a zip file instead because that won't work. Now, you could just take the things out of the RAR file because uh, as far as I know, it, Factorio will read it as just the folder as well if you just take the folder out that's inside. But if it is, in fact, a zip file, you might as well just leave it that way. So you have them in your downloads folder or wherever you download stuff to. And then you need to navigate to your Factorio folder. And usually, uh, I mean, you chose where to put it when you installed the game. If you can't find it, um, I think you might just be able to right-click on the icon and do Properties. And this actually is not entirely accurate, but uh, well, pretty much, except for this bit here. But... If you click here, you should be able to kind of find where it is. I think by default, it installs into your main drive, which is probably C, and then Program Files, and then Factorio. That's where mine is, and I didn't change for where to install. That was just the default, so if yours, uh, if yours was just the default install location, it should probably be here. And then at this point, it's pretty straightforward. You have saves, mods, some other stuff. Just go into your mods folder, and you do. I do have some here that are unpacked, um, unzipped, and they do work. These are kind of older ones, but uh, again, I would just leave them in the zip file uh, format. And at this point, it is really simple. You wow, well, that's not really what I wanted, but okay. You just drag whatever ones you want into here, and obviously, this isn't really going to work because they're already in there for me, but just to show, I'm going to go ahead and delete the file that's already in there, and drag him on in, and boom, you are uh, set to go here. So those are installed. Uh, one last quick thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a really quick cut in the video and launch Factorio, and when it's up, I will bring you back and just kind of show you really quickly what you need to do in there to activate them in case you didn't know that either. But... Uh, I think that's really almost it, so I will catch you back in just a minute to show you that last part. Okay guys, welcome back, and here we are in game in the main options menu here. All you have to do to activate them is you go into your mods and it will list all the ones you have. Uh, one quick thing, you do not want to touch this one. Don't touch it, don't toggle it. <laughs> it should be enabled, if it's not I would enable it because this is what comes with the game and pretty much has all the game data in it, so don't touch it. And you can see I already have some enabled, but like the uh, 
fully autom automated ra rail layer I just put in there, it's not enabled. So you just toggle and you can see it's highlighted and says enabled. However, if you read down here, you have to restart the game to apply it. And I'm not going to make you watch me restart the game and bring you back, but it'll work. So as long as the mod and such is compatible with the version and all that, which I would hope you research beforehand, <laughs> then, uh, then that's all you have to do. If it's not enabled, some of them actually like default enable when you put them in the folder. Um, I think, but some of them don't, so if they're not, just toggle them on and then exit the game and restart it and it will be activated and you should be good to go. So I think that's that's really the end of this tutorial. It's really quite straightforward. Uh, that's one thing I like about Factorio is they make it pretty damn easy. But yeah, you can see these ones here, the resource monitor, the ice trans extensions and uranium power. Those were the ones that were not in a zip format and they still work. Um, I actually used them in one of my other series, my total depletion one. So uh, again, you can do that if you want, but it's really just more work unless they happen to be in a different uh, zip thing than a zip. So a RAR or whatever. But uh, I think that's really it. So, you know, if you have any further questions about this, uh, please post down in the comments and I will you know, read them. I do read all the comments and I will respond and hopefully be able to help you out. And you know, if you have any suggestions for what other type of tutorials you'd like to see for Factorio or which one you'd like to see next, I would love to hear those as well. But until next time, I do look forward to seeing you all and